After months in legal limbo, President Biden's sweeping student loan forgiveness plan faces a critical week at the nation's highest court. Lawyers backing two key legal efforts to block the plan set to argue their cases before the Supreme Court justices on Tuesday. 43 million eligible student loan borrowers anxiously waiting the court's decision. Especially if you're low income, first generation, sometimes the debt that you'll have to take on can affect you and your family for years to come. The Biden student loan forgiveness plan cancels $10,000 in student loans for individuals earning less than $125,000 a year and $20,000 if they were also recipients of Pell Grants. An ambitious campaign promise the president is trying to fulfill using his executive authority under the pandemic emergency. Our student loan program is designed to give just a little more breathing room. But separate lawsuits filed by two borrowers and a group of Republican-led states argue the president's plan is an illegal abuse of power and is unfair to some borrowers. People knew what they were doing when they signed it and uh, they should pay it off. But the latest Quinnipiac poll shows a majority of Americans support the student loan forgiveness plan. Roughly one in six adults carry some debt. Collectively, according to the Federal Reserve, Americans owe more than $1.6 trillion in student loans, many hoping the justices will allow Biden's plan to move forward. It's not everything, but it would certainly help a lot and relieve a lot of that burden. And lower courts have sided with the states, but it's unclear how the justices will rule. In the meantime, though, advocacy groups want the Biden administration to start considering backup plans in case it loses. In Washington, Faith Abube, ABC News.